All right, just leaving a little thrift store, a little church uh, thrift. And I found a, um, a little Sony handy cam with the night vision on it. And I picked that up, uh, $10. So uh, not a bad pickup. It didn't have a battery, but it had, um, uh, of course, the camera, the charger, a bag, I think the remote's in there. So um, most people don't really use them anyway. And, uh, you know, with the battery and uh, tapes, mostly used for uh, dubbing over your your eight millimeter tapes over to digital and they just they basically just need a player and then you hook up the camera to your um, recorder uh, you know a DVR uh, recorder and uh, you know make digital copies so definitely worth picking them up um, you'll see them at yard sales the night vision ones or night mode always sell for you know a little bit more but um, yeah I do well with them so I'm on the way home, gonna test it, photograph and list. It's Wednesday morning, getting ready to send out a few items. Um, dropped off over the weekend. Monday and Tuesday have been uh, pretty slow, but did manage to uh, sell, it was like 13, what am I, 14 items? A um, couple of long tail items finally sold, like these stamps, which I don't know why I picked them up. Um, they were cheap, but I ended up taking an offer for $10 for the whole lot. I just, they just would not go. I think shipping killed the, the deal on that. Um, summertime's coming and I've been selling a few of these uh, Intex. This is a cool, um, like, a, like a river rafting uh, tube. Uh, 25 plus shipping on that one. More media books, some tools of the last of a, of a uh, giant lot of used tools that I have. Uh, I think these were 10 plus shipping on that. This finally sold. I got this, God, it has to be a year ago. And I think that's over 10. Some Blu-rays. This is a free item. It is a Starbucks, there it is. Some type of plastic pitcher. And my Old school Dukes of Hazard stuff sold. 20, what were these? 25 for shipping on those. And the very last of my matchbox from a big giant tackle box filled with old matchbox. This is the last lot. So I got the lot for $40 and made 200 and 225 plus on it. So that was a pretty good pickup. Uh, this finally sold to Starbucks mug. And I don't do a lot of Ray Dunn. This has been sitting there for over a year as well. A little uh, mist, misting plant mister. That's about it. Pack them up. Oh, I got this. This sold to not a very high uh, desired name for golf clubs. But um, this one out. 15 plus shipping on that one. So, all right. Need some inventory. Bye. First stop of the day. A buck. If you guys don't know about dirty jobs on the Discovery Channel, if you see these on DVD, definitely pick them up. Um, anywhere from 25, 35 bucks uh, sold listings. And we have a special guest. Hi. She puts the plural in Cape Cod resellers. <laughs> see you at the next stop. Early birds. Buying clothes for the wife. Of course, that's on the account. Picked up this uh, Playmobil jet. This, this old board game, it's like 25 bucks. Found another gunned. There you go. And this, which I've never seen before. It was three bucks. 
It's a WWF, looks like a little old school game. So that's about it. On to the next. All right, just left my favorite little thrift store. 50% off all clothing. And I picked up this, I think it's a double X. It's an LL Bean. So this was $3.50. And some random stuff. They had a deal on DVDs. I bought this. Honestly, I, I, I want to try it, but it's new. It's a hot dog toaster with the bun thing. They're like 25 to 30. This is a vintage ice cream maker. And you can even tell because it has one of the local stores around here that's been out of business for a while, Bradley's. And 25 cents each for these. The Seinfeld, Seinfelds are sealed. And took a chance on this one. Didn't even look it up, but that is it. We're on to the next one. So somebody answered an ad that I placed in uh, Craigslist and I'm picking up almost 500 DVDs. Most of them are horror. There is a ton of them. There is a ton that are sealed. These are all new and sealed. Just some obscure titles, sets, box sets. These are all sealed. $175 out the door. And I made another great connection. Not great, but... Hmm? Yeah. Oh, they got Larry. I'm sure there's something here you absolutely need. Yep. <laughs> I like that. Hey, we're just getting back from that uh, church sale, and it did pretty well. A um, few things there, a um, couple things I passed on, including, I don't know if you saw it in the previous clip there, uh, tons and tons of 80s and 90s baseball cards. I'm just not going to go through them, looking for, you know, maybe five cards. Um, but I did pick up this weather station. It was a two-piece for ten dollars uh great great comps all over a hundred dollars for just this one here uh, this is an older unit but uh still should sell for 25 or 35 dollars on that um this is new unassembled three bucks it's a rebel don't know what the date on it is i haven't even looked it up but i usually pick these up for short money um there it is there 1987. Um, grab that for $5. There's a few comps on there. One for $50. There's one open box for $138. So I'll probably price it $89.99 plus shipping. Really cool old vintage shaker. Can't believe I spent four on this and then five on that. Some porcelain uh, dollhouse furniture. And I just saw a video or an Instagram uh, post of people picking up Polaroids. I don't normally do them. This one was cool. It's got an auto flash. Uh, it doesn't even look doesn't even look used. 
It's got all the paperwork and everything in there. And the box, that was five bucks. Comps are 20, $25. And then probably the best deal was a Thule uh, kayak um, roof rack, 20 bucks. And then they had this box with it and she's like, just take it all, take everything for 20. So it has more of the uh, mounts. So I'll have to go through it. Definitely a local uh, sale on this one. Uh, probably either Craigslist or Marketplace. But I saw, I mean, if I wanted to part it out, you know, on eBay, just the um, the rubber pads with the mounts for the kayaks were selling, the uh, crossbars individually, these mounts individually, all the straps. So uh, 20 on that. So pretty good. Still going through some of the DVDs that I got at that uh, uh, marketplace where I posted an ad and she answered it. And um, my God, she had so many cool things in her place. Um, toys, posters, books, uh, DVDs, uh, figures, all horror genre, all like sp real spooky crap. Some of the movies in here I've never even heard of. But um, there's like 455 movies in here. Um, these are going to be listing. This is a set. Um, I think there's just one used out of the set and everything else is, is sealed. And then this guy here, it's about $40. Masters of Horror Season 1. Super cool box set. And then this Evil Dead 2 with the tin. I think this was $20. It's a limited limited print there. Um, some more Masters of Horror. And then these um, Fangoria, I believe. Yeah, those are all new except I think two. But that's a whole set too. So I'm going to list a whole bunch of the sets first. Um, pull this out. I think I'm going to list it. This is a super cool Sanyo. It's just sitting on the top of my hot water heater. And they're selling for about $100. Um, going to take it. So it works. The tape deck works. It sounds okay. There's the model. Made in Japan, of course. Uh, so that'll be going on the block this weekend. So I've got my work cut out for me. How are you guys doing? See you soon. Guys, it's Saturday. We just got back from another church sale and got some great items. Um, it's cold here. And then the outdoor one was chilly. I've sold these in the past from uh, Harry Potter. Got two of those for five bucks. Some new in the box, uh, Schleich. This one was three dollars. I actually paid two for it. This one here, this is sealed. This one was five bucks. I paid five for this. I didn't look it up yet. It's the um, next generation Star Trek Next Generation uh, seasons one through seven on DVD. It's a really cool box set. Uh, five for that. A couple bucks for this. Some Polish pottery. Haven't found some in a while. This is real nice. It's a pitcher. And looks like it has the artist's signature down the bottom there. And a new in the box. Trump the game. This will be probably right around 75 bucks sealed. I've sold the used one in the past. Grab this little uh, UV lamp. I think it's for like fingernail polish, two bucks. They're about $19. This is $3, ended up paying two. And I think these are right around $35 on eBay. And then they're selling all their um, American Girl stuff. So I was looking for retired items. This is a really cool camping set. It has the uh, the tent and like a s'mores maker and a battery operated campfire. Um, that was what, four dollars, I believe. Two bucks for the kayak. Has little fins, sail, life jacket. 
And this is what caught my eye as I was walking by the, the little table there. They had this. This is a retired American girl. Um, one of those old old fashioned antique sleds, the rails on it. Two bu or four dollars. I ended up getting it for two bucks. And there you go. It's from 2019, but I looked it up on eBay and they're getting about thirty dollars for it. Um, so that's about it for this uh for this run. oh wait i did pick up one of these i've sold these in the past too 75 cents for the uh, labyrinth that wooden uh, little it's like a maze with the marble you gotta kind of make your way around without it falling through and uh still working on the dvds it is slow going but there's a lot here this one is absolutely insane the most controversial movie ever made i don't know about that but it's good money for this one 25th anniversary edition for that so that's about it for this weekend um really good a lot of inventory so i'm really psyched so i'm gonna get uh cleaning up and photographing and uh you're not gonna make money if it's just sitting here on the floor right it's saturday i'm taking a break and uh i think you guys if you've watched some of my videos you know that i'm a craft beer fan and a couple of years ago, I got some hops plants for Father's Day. And it is late April, and these guys are already jumping up. So my wife and I put the strings up, and uh, eventually they will grow. I think that's about 15 feet. So I'll keep you uh, in the loop and I'll show you how tall these things get. And then harvest time is really fun. Uh, the hop flower, it's, uh, it smells amazing. Cheers. Just getting back from a marketplace find. It was um, free stuff. And uh, check this out, this is crazy. Awesome Pelican case, looked up the the number on it it's a 40 45 bucks something like that haven't looked this thing up yet husky air tool and then they were giving away an owl it's a dash cam these are going for about 100 to 125 bucks the box and everything in there and just for kicks went to the dump and i found doesn't have the battery cover but it's a hunter douglas no idea what remote this is for but i looked it up on ebay two have sold uh as a pair and uh, i'll post the uh the listing the sold listing uh, check it out it's like 400 dollars. pretty crazy 